Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Um, I've been MIA a little bit this past week. I'm off my usual schedule of videos. I have had um, a big project come up at work and it's just, it's been a really rough week, but I even, well, because of that project, I'll even have to work some this weekend. So my schedule is going to be a little weird probably for the next week or so, but I'm hoping after that I kind of get back to my normal, I guess my normal posting frequency uh, of videos. So today we're doing a supply haul. I do have a flip through new release that I'm going to put out tomorrow. Um, Tuesday, I'm probably going to talk about the color alarm for March. And then if I don't talk about it tomorrow, <laughs> and um, then Friday will be a flip through of some of the more of the books you'll see today. And then I think Saturday will be my completed pages for February uh, next Saturday. So that's kind of what I'm milling around right now. And we'll just see how it goes. All right. So this is a my supply and book haul for February. Um, I did go outside my normal budget, but I did have a few things from the channel hit this month as well, so I think it kind of all evened out. But yeah, no, I definitely don't need to do this every month, but I splurged a little bit, and, and you'll see why. So here are the supplies that we're going to go over. I mostly focused on paints this month. As you can see, let me grab these move them over here. I did pick up another Pitt Artist uh, brush pen, a black one, because I, if you've seen any of my demos this month, you know I use these a lot for line art outlines. Um, they give me just a little bit of a thicker line than just a regular um, micron pen does, and I like the brush tip on these, so I went ahead and got me a um, backup. For that tap my drawer then I got some watercolors these are uh, called pretty excellent watercolors or uh, Mei Liang on Amazon uh, these are one of the sets of watercolors that uh, Lindsay Lindsay Weirich hopefully I'm saying her name right uh, does a review of on her channel and um, I really trust her opinion on watercolors and she thinks these are a very good budget set to have like a student grade one so I wanted to pick them up because so far I've only been using the CR Braun watercolors and I've had some difficulties with them I can't tell if that is because of the quality of the watercolors or if that is just because of me, or maybe a little bit of both. So this is the, I'm not sure if these come in multiple sets. I will put a link to her review in the description as well. Um, I'll have some thoughts on them probably in March as I use them, hopefully. But um, she's definitely, there's no, <laughs> there's no sense in uh, uh, recreating the wheel. And she does a really comprehensive review, much more than I could ever do with these. So, um, like I said, these do have 36 colors. And that's what it looks like there. They come with a water brush, which I haven't tried. Um, they come with like a little plastic piece that sits over them, like this. And this little uh, piece of paper that has a swatch chart in it and then you also get your own swatch chart to fill in which I've done here so these are the 36 colors if I can grab it that you get oh, the lighting some of these don't look super different the yellow orange and cadmium orange don't seem all that different shade wise to me like the cadmiums just a little bit darker um, with reds I have a hard time distinguishing differences just slight differences in shade but I will say it looks like these 
are all just a little bit different. Um, the purples definitely are. Um, the blues, cobalt blue and ultramarine, that's probably just a light and dark difference. I really like the teal color, which I call turkey blue here. I like that color a lot. Um, I feel like the greens are better greens than what's in the CR bronze set for sure. Um, they just seem like more typical greens that I would use. And then you've got your like your yellow ochre and siennas and then your uh, darker browns and then of course your black here at the bottom. So uh, quite a few reds in this. I again am not an expert in watercolor sets and stuff so I'm not sure how usual or unusual this is but um, there does seem to be some different colors than what I was using in the CR bronze sets so I will definitely be curious to try these and see how these do on paper compared to those so and they're as of right at the moment like about 20 bucks on Amazon though you can get you can check a box to get a little coupon for like I think 5% off or something like that so I just thought these might be another good set to try I am eyeing the I think is it the Windsor Newton Coltman watercolors um, as kind of my <clears throat> expensive set but I want more practice with what I have and these before I uh, do that that will probably be a birthday ask is what I'm thinking all right so now paints so I have the dragon glaze full spectrum and I like it so much that I just went ahead and got the other colors in the set. I think that's it. Yep, the four other colors. And I did swatch these. And hopefully the light will make this easier to see. If you look at the top of this page, you can see the names of them. And then if I shift this on the light, on the on the white page side you can see a difference in the colors and the finishes but I also used a black marker on this side to make it a little easier to see them as well that's where I like to use them is if um, I've colored a background either in paint or marker like a dark background I think that's that's where they really shine ha 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 though um, I think they would be pretty for subtle uh, finishes on a regular coloring page as well. Then um, I saw someone, I wish I could remember, I, should, I need to write this stuff down. Um, someone feature, I think it was the Deco Art Dazzling Metallics on their site, um, and they had swatched them. I thought they looked really pretty, and I don't think they had an extreme sheen I think I just found these while I was on Amazon these are both uh, deco art um, brands and the extreme sheen caught my attention because it reminded me of the delusions shimmer paint that I love so much and as much as I love it it does come in small amounts um, you pay you know about the same price for this for a one ounce bottle as you would pay for a two ounce bottle of this so I was trying to see if I could find a cheaper alternative plus colors are limited so I would like to be able to pick up some more colors so I picked up in the extreme sheen these are all metallic paints uh, lavender frost sapphire and 24 karat gold and then in the dazzling metallics I picked up peacock pearl and crystal green and um, I might have gotten these mixed up when I put them on the paper. <laughs> Smooth. Yep, I can see that now. That's fine. Okay. So. As far as the extreme sheen, um, they look very pretty. And yes, they do have that shine to them. The blue and the lavender frost seem to go okay down um, with with the one coat, though I would be curious to see how they do on a background. The 24 karat, as you can see, though, seems pretty thin. So um, I did see on some reviews on there that 
these can be pretty thin coats and you may have to use more than one coat. Um, if that's the case, then, you know, the, it may not be as much of a, uh, it might not be a cheaper option because if you're using double the paint <laughs> than you would with the, because the delusions, I usually only have to use one coat. So, um, if you have to use double the amount for the two ounces as opposed to the one ounce, I mean, you're not really saving anything, right? But if they come in colors I can't get in the Delusions Shimmer line right now, then, I mean, I think these will still be useful. I'm definitely going to still be testing these out. Same for the Crystal Green, not the Peacock Pearl, here, um, gives really nice shine again i do want to test these on like you know a bigger paper to see just how thin the coats are and this and that now this crystal uh this peacock pearl is weird um i p painted one swatch and i thought maybe i didn't shake it up enough so i shook it up again and i still got the same result it's almost like a little bit of it's dried inside one thing i will note these came with a uh um, cover on the inside where you had to pull it, peel it out off as well as a plastic um, cover on the cap. These only came with a plastic, all these came only with a plastic cover on the cap. They did not come with the little piece on the inside that I would assume is there to keep the paint from drying out. Now it doesn't seem to have caused a problem for any of these however this one looks like it has dried out some. So um, the color is pretty However, I'm probably going to be trying to contact Amazon and see if I can get another bottle of this. So, um, do, do be aware of that. And like I said, it, I'll let y'all know if I guess if I catch any grief about that. So, and really with the metallics, you do get a shine, but the extreme sheen, you definitely do get, um, more so of a, I guess that's the name. Because I was trying to figure out what the difference between the two were. And it may just be they were renamed. Who knows. But um, there's not a huge difference between the two. So, But like I said, this gives me some options for some more colors. At least until hopefully they expand their line of the Delusions Shimmer Paints. Um, this gives me some more color options. So I think that is it for supplies. Yeah, I think next month my focus is going to be on Copic refills because a lot of my markers are starting to run out. So let me pause this for a second. All right, so um, what really <laughs> blew my budget out of the water this month was books. At the very start of the month, I had treated myself to some um, Korean coloring books which with shipping, um, unbeknownst to me, they were on book depository. Um, I, uh, I was kind of thought that was going to be it, but, um, then Amazon did a three for the price two sale and I had some new releases come out this month. So that's really what did in my budget. And then I guess I figured I was in for it anyway, so I might as well get the paints. But like I said, with, the, with the extra, bits I got um it it kind of evens out so it's it's not as as bad and I I mean I've had crazier months I guess so it wasn't too bad these are in no particular order um there was a new release by George Tufexis I do have the flip through of this in and I'll show the card to that Endless Summer and this is a Creative Haven book These are gray lines, so it's a little hard to see. Really cute book. Probably a good one to have right now. Um, if you are in a cold climate and you are wishing for like beach and hotter temperatures, this is probably <laughs> a good book to have right now. And I think he's got a good mix of his normal complex pictures and then some that aren't as... I don't feel like are as detailed as some of his others. I'm actually working on a whip in this one. 
which is this desert scene. I'm hoping I can have this done before the end of the month. But if not, it will also count towards my color alarm for March. So we shall see. But that is with the Tau Tree markers. So just to give you guys an example of one of the pictures in there. Another new release this month, uh, Whimsical Cats by Angela Porter. This is also a Creative Haven book. Very cute, very um, whimsical, if you will. <laughs> I like this one where they're all in the tree. Though the owl doesn't seem to like it very much. I have not had a chance to color in this yet, though alphabet color next month. I guess I'll go ahead and subtly, subtly mention the uh, color along will be the letter C. And so you're gonna ha gonna see a lot of cats next month. You're gonna see a lot of cats next month. That is also in a flip through. I will put that up on a card. Have I done cute frogs yet? I think I have. I'll also put yeah. They may all link to the same video. I can't remember. This week's been awful, guys. I can't remember hardly anything. <laughs> so this is cute frogs coloring book. Um. Morgana Sky is the artist, though this looks a lot like a coloring book cafe book. The same company, The Fruitful Mind. This is really cute. I haven't bought one of their physical books in a while, but this one in particular just looked super cute. And I was lucky enough to get it at the um, intro sales price, too, so... I'm not a frog person in real life, but I do like coloring frogs, and I like seeing frogs and hearing about them. Alright, so my big spin at the very start of the month was um, Book Depository and then on Etsy. So I did get the Tales from the Witch's Cottage by Hannah Carlson. This is not the English version, version as you can see. I'm not sure when that's coming out on Amazon. They may already have it on there as a pre-order, but... I just didn't feel like waiting. <laughs> Not that I've colored in any of these books, but um, she does. I noticed that she does um, her next book in this series is coming out very soon. The um, not not the English version, but the original version, and um, I will probably snag that up once it comes out too. But it's just a really cute book. Of course, you know, anything with cats in it, I am I am a fan. What are you doing, Rape Cheap? Why are you under my desk and why are you sniffing? Mm, that's not good. Alright, so my two big splurges on Etsy were the cat coloring therapy books. And if you watched my giveaway live stream or the flip through I did of these, which again I will put up in the in the top of the right of the screen these have got to be some of the cutest books I own now I am absolutely in love with them unfortunately it was hard for me to figure out the title and the author until I actually got them because it was hard to search for them and then when I did that I figured out they were on book depository and I didn't have to pay the shipping I did so Thankfully, I was able to link it so nobody else has to do what I did. But regardless, I have them and I am very pleased with them. This is Cat Coloring Therapy 1. Very big book. I know you're only seeing little bits and pieces. But it is cats doing people things. Which you know is my favorite thing in the world. And these cats are so stinky. Especially the ones in the overalls. I just, I just can't. You know, that would be a really good picture to do right now with the sunflowers. I believe sunflowers are the official flower for Ukraine. So, um, that would actually be a really nice picture to do. I might do that here very soon. Just in support. Yeah. <laughs> You know, as rough as my week has been, I am, I consider myself very, 
privileged and lucky to have the issues that I've had as my biggest problems right now. I could be in a lot worse shape, so my thoughts are with them. I love this picture. It's like my favorite one in the book. So that's cat coloring therapy one. Cat coloring therapy two. Apparently this is their uncle. Uncle Hero, I think. The tiger. He's the uncle to all these little cats. And I tell you this if I had to pick one, it would be hard out of the two, but I think I would have to pick this one. These are not very detailed books at all, but this one, him just hanging out with all the cats is just, oh, just so stinking cute, y'all. I just, I can't, I can't. Every time, I need to remember I have these, so when I have rough weeks like I've had, my two favorite pictures in the book is this one with the scary movie and then when he's chasing them all in their bushy tails. No, you cannot come up here. Back, back, back. Back. Well, it ain't my fault that you put yourself in such a position. Maybe next time, think about what you're doing before you um, get up here. So tomorrow, I'm going to put out a new release flip through of this one. This is Farm Sweet Farm, by Mar the latest by Marjorie Sarnett in Creative Haven. She is one of my favorite artists. I don't get every single one of her books because sometimes the subject matter just doesn't interest me. But this one in particular is stinking cute. So cute. So cute. The little turtles and the little cats and the goat and the ducks. I just... Very cute pictures. Yep, yeah, that'll be a good one for next month. So I will do a full flip through of that one tomorrow. Now for the three for the price of two sale, um, I got six more books. We have the, now I've not done a flip through of these yet. I'm going to do a flip through of these next Friday, a full flip through. So um, I just, haven't gotten it together on my schedule yet. <laughs> this is the Mini Pusheen coloring book. Let me bring this in. So they have a full-size Pusheen book. Um, this is actually the same price as the full-size one, which I I don't particularly like. I don't think that's that's necessarily right, but I wanted the mini one because these images are, are simple images and I just didn't need the full-size pages. I don't know. And having a mini coloring book's nice. I don't have very many of these and so these give me incentives to just color a little something. You see, very cute images. I think there are some little, oh I love that one with the little pushing ghosts. These are tear out pages. They got little mandalas in here too, which I think is cute. So there's that one. I got another. Let me zoom out. Hello. Just check and see if y'all are awake. <laughs> um, I got another Grimm Fairy Tales book. I have two of these. I have different seasons, and I can't remember what the other one is, but this is just simply Grim Fairy Tales. I don't think there's a volume or anything on this. This is by Xenoscope Entertainment. So these people um, and the various artists uh, put together uh, comic books, graphic novels um, of these types of fairy tales, and these women generally, uh, these are definitely Grim Fairy Tales, and uh, Women tend to be a little risque, so I'm just going to go ahead and warn you before I start showing you the book. But the women are also um, fierce, and a lot of them are battling monsters and what have you. I just love the art. actually did a picture in here. I just posted the Instagram the other day. 
which is this one. I made her like the female equivalent of Paula Bunyan. And I love this one because I love the little bears chasing the butterflies and he's stepping on him and ruining his day and it just, I thought it was really cute. So, I did treat this with satin glazing liquid. This is Amazon printed, so the paper um, might be a little difficult to work with if you're not just using marker or pencil. So. I got Mythographic Paradise by Fabiana Atanasio without... It's getting to the point I need to make sure to check my my uh, coloring book list because I already had this one. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, I will probably get, be giving away one of these copies in my next giveaway, which will be quite a few months down the road, but um, I figured I'd show it to y'all anyway. I don't own many mythographic books, but I really like this one. Just the designs and the styles in them. Oh my gosh, Reaper Cheap is extra snotty today. I'm gonna have to probably get his, get him a, a breathing treatment. I love this one, though. To fill it in is going to be interesting. So, there's that one. I also got another mythographic book, Wild Winter by Joseph Kadambang. And again, I just, I had his original mythographic animals, but I think I gave that away. Um, I prefer the full page spreads like this. The pictures were beautiful, but there was so much white space off from them. That I just, I don't know, I didn't really see myself coloring in them very much. Okay, I was like, where's that dude's head? And it's right there. The little squirrels, I think that's very cute. Well, <laughs> the squirrel's trapped in the, trapped in the thing, so that's probably not good. I think that's supposed to be an otter. There's a course, there's a very pretty tiger one and a tiger cub. And then I know there's a good cat one in here. Because I remember seeing it when I was initially paging through. There's some foxes for next year. I do not, I'm not going to be able to get those done in time for this month, I'm afraid. Well, I was hoping I could find the cat one, but. I just, with the work I have coming up this next week, I just don't think I'm going to be able to get much more coloring done, to be quite honest, over the next few days. I did pick up a few Hannah Carlson books that I didn't have, one of them being Jewelry Box. Now this wasn't one of my automatic picks because it has a lot more people in it and I'm not big right now on coloring people but everything else in this book I really like so plus there's cats in here and at some point I would like to try I don't think I'm to the point of where I just refuse to color people because I don't like them I just don't it's not a go-to for me so I feel like this is a Good challenge for that. And of course there are cat pictures in here. This is one of those that is not an automatic buy for me for her because like I said having so many people in it but it was on sale and I do like her art so And again, I, for these six I picked up at Amazon for the three for two sale, I will be doing a full flip through next Friday. And finally, I did get Grains of Gold. I was holding off on this because I felt like I had most of her books that I wanted. But it's those new drawings that got me in this one. Um, and plus, this makes me feel, if I pick a picture that's in here and it's, 
a duplicate of another book I have I feel like those will be the ones I start some of the ones I start with so I'm a little less intimidated that I'm gonna mess something up so yeah it's those 11 unique drawings that got me the ones like these this one right here, because y'all know I love space. It, it, this one where they've landed on the planet and stuff, I love. I saw that one. And I saw this one. And, and even this one. And I was like, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do this. So. <laughs> but, like, I know this one's from Spirit Animals. And I like this, this one a lot. So... Um, it's got a lot of the cat pictures in here. So like I said, these having some of these duplicates will be good for me because like I said, I feel like these are the ones I can experiment with. And if I mess one of the copies up, then it's all right because I got another copy. So without having to buy duplicates of all the books. So I feel like it's a pretty good compromise. All right, so that is it. That's it. Yeah, this was this was a bigger <laughs> this was a bigger haul to be sure. Um, like I said, next month there is, I believe, at least one new release from Lulu Mayo. It's the Kawaii book, the Million Kawaii Cuties or something. I think is coming out next month. Um, is when is Kirby Rosanna's next book coming out? Because his book came out last year um, in March. And I can't remember offhand. So let me see if I can go looky-loo and see. Um, yes, Mythic World will supposedly be released March 29th. Uh, that is the newest Kirby Rosanna's book. That will be out next month as well. Um, so two new releases next. Oh, uh, Kawaii Cuties by Lulu Mayo is out March 17th. So I will be getting at least two new releases next month. Um, I might try to slow down the book buying <laughs> if there's not another sale. Um, and I feel like with that sale, I picked up pretty much the books that I didn't have that I, you know, wanted at this point so unless they put a whole bunch of new different books in that kind of sale I don't see myself getting any more but this might be a good month to just back off if there's an absolute must-have new release then that's different but um, I think March will probably be focused more towards starting to build my Copic refill collection and um, yes yeah, so I may not have a ton for March but we'll we'll see how it goes Anyway, guys, um, like I said at the start of the, the um, video, Farm Sweet Farm, the full flip through, will be tomorrow. Tuesday, I will talk briefly about the color lawn for March. Um, Friday will be the flip through of the six books I picked up from Amazon, and there are three for the price two sale. Saturday will probably be my completed pages, if not Sunday, and then we'll see how things go after that. Like I said, this is going to be another rough week at work, and I'm exhausted, um, so I don't know how much real coloring I'm going to get done this next. I didn't get any done last week past Monday, um, and I just don't know how much is going to be done this next week, so we'll just kind of have to see. Anyway, I hope you guys... Um, <laughs> No matter where you are, I hope you are safe, um, and I hope you, you know, I hope you have a good weekend. Thanks, and bye for now.